Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today on this webinar that we have, all about our great packages with Amtrak vacations and traveling to Canada. So I want to introduce myself. I will be your host today. I'm Jackie Malecki. And I am excited because at the end of this presentation, I'll actually be giving away a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate to one lucky attendee to put towards their next vacation. And I'll also be announcing some exclusive discounts for all of you to take advantage of on some of the packages that we have. But to book any of these trips or any real vacation, you can certainly give us a call at 1-800-AMTRAK2 or call your local travel agent. If you do have any questions at all throughout this presentation, please feel free to type it into your questions box there, and we'll make sure to leave a little bit of time to answer those questions. So let's get right to it. So why should you travel with Amtrak Vacation? Well, first of all, it's a bucket list experience to be able to travel by train. You're going to see some beautiful sights and landscapes that you would never see by flying or driving. There's room to roam on board the train. It's not like in the car or on the airlines where you're kind of stuck in your seat the entire time. You can get up, stretch your legs, walk around, maybe go to the observation car with those large glass windows there to take in all those beautiful sights. It's less hassle when you book with us because we take care of everything for you. Your hotel, your sightseeing, some of your meals, your rail to get you from city to city. We have city to city service. What I mean by that is the train will pick you up in the heart of one city and bring you right to the next, right to downtown, city center location. So it's not like flying where you're on the outskirts of the city there. You are right there to really maximize your time to explore and sightsee. You can satisfy your hunger on board. There's a dining car and all the long distance trains. There's a chef that's preparing the meals, so the food really is spectacular. And we have lots of flexibility with our packages that we'll go through in just a minute and show you some of the different options and, and packages we have through Canada. But most of them have daily departures, and we can customize anything for you, too. So I do want to show you the map of the Amtrak route system, because a lot of people don't realize the extent that Amtrak travels to. It goes to 46 of the 48 continuous states. The only two it does not go through are South Dakota and Wyoming. Amtrak does connect up to Canada, and then you can take Via Rail, which we'll go through some of those packages there. But it connects in Vancouver, Niagara Falls, or Montreal. So there's a few different options. Now, there's something I want you to keep in mind while we go through these packages. And I have a special guest speaker who's going to talk about our Canadian packages that we have. It's how you get to the start and home at the end of those packages. There's over 500 Amtrak stations that you can choose to start from. So you can train from your hometown or local Amtrak station to start a package, train city to city, and then take the train back home. But depending on how much time you have for your vacation or you know, where you're coming from, how long you want to be on the train, you also do have the option to fly to the start, train city to city, and fly home, or maybe even do a combination there. So we do have a few different types of products. So I do just want to explain this real quick for you all. So we have our independent rail journeys. Those are our multi-city packages. They use the Amtrak trains to take you from city to city. And we include your hotels, all your sightseeing while you're in your different destinations to explore. Some of the meals are included, too. We have our family adventures. Those are great for multi-generational travelers, lots of family-friendly activities. And we have amazing pricing for children on those, too. We have our rail getaways, which we can do to any of our destinations that we have. And that's a single city trip. And we add the rail from your hometown or local Amtrak station. And of course, we also have our packages going out to the national parks, whether it's the US or to Canada. But now I'm excited to introduce you to our guest speaker, Colleen McCarthy. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Jackie. 
uh, for that great intro. I am so excited to be here today to speak with everybody about all of our fantastic trips that we offer uh, into Canada. And um, from Amtrak, there's a lot of different uh, departure points, a lot of different routes that you can take to get up into Canada. And we've got a tremendous amount of fantastic packages, uh, which we can absolutely customize to fit your needs. So we've got quite a few to go through today on this great presentation. But I just want everybody to keep in mind as I start here that um, whatever destination you're interested in in Canada, I am sure that we have something uh, that we can put together for you. So we've got a lot of our independent journeys, as Jackie mentioned, our multi-city products uh, here on the webinar today. But if you are interested in just visiting one of those cities, uh, we definitely have a getaway option for you. So keep that in mind as I go through the presentation. Anything you see, you know, is very flexible here for travel with Amtrak Vacations. We can make it work for you. Um, we're going to start out here on the east coast um, of the United States uh, and going up into Canada. Um, there's a, quite a few different Amtrak trains, which all have some gorgeous scenery there. Um, on the east, we've got the Amtrak Adirondack train, which goes from New York to Montreal, as well as the Amtrak Maple Leaf, which goes from New York City up to Niagara Falls and Toronto. Uh, but for those of you guys who are located in the Midwest area, don't worry, we have you guys covered as well. We can have you take the train from Chicago uh, out to Niagara Falls, or in the case of this particular package that we're showing here right now, we actually have you go right into Buffalo and then pick you up at the train station, bringing you right to your hotel there in Niagara Falls. Uh, so this trip is our Niagara Falls getaway from Chicago, starting here in Chicago, which is a fantastic city. If you haven't been, I highly recommend it. It's also Amtrak's main hub, so we have tremendous amount of routes and different uh, trains leaving out of Chicago, including this one, which is uh, really nice for you guys because it is an overnight train uh, going over to Buffalo. So you will get some of that overnight uh, travel experience, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. You have the option to take one of your uh, private cabins. You have that lounge car as well as the private dining car uh, where you have a real chef making your meals on board. And uh, when you wake up the next morning, you're going to be in Buffalo and we'll pick you up right there at the train station and bring you to your hotel in Niagara Falls. Now in this particular getaway, it's a two-night uh, stay in Niagara Falls. We'll set up that hotel accommodation for you. And while you're there, we make sure you see the best sites possible. We have admission to the Skyline Tower, which is a great observation deck there, uh, rising above Niagara Falls. On a clear day, you can actually see all the way to Buffalo in the U.S. and Toronto uh, in Canada there. Uh, as well, we include a sightseeing boat cruise of the falls uh, to make sure we actually get you out and up as close as possible. You guys are going to want to bring your poncho on that one. Now, we do have some longer trips. If you're looking for a little bit longer trips here going to Canada, uh, we, of course, include Niagara Falls for any of our eastern trips here. Uh, the next one I want to go through for you is the New York and Eastern Canada trip. This one, guys, is a real highlight for me because it starts out in New York City, which is the city that never sleeps. There is so much to see and do here in New York. And then you guys will board the Amtrak Maple Leaf. And I just want to talk just for a minute about that Maple Leaf train. It has some absolutely spectacular scenery. As you guys leave New York City and you know go more into the state of New York, you're going to be going through the Adirondack Mountains and seeing the Hudson River. Uh, train travels along it for quite a little ways. Uh, then you're going to travel through the Mohawk Valley and the Finger Lakes region and see Lake Ontario on your way to Niagara Falls. So it's um, just a day trip. You leave New York City in the morning and you're in Niagara Falls by uh, early evening, but it's a really spectacular ride. You know, you guys will see some great scenery there. Uh, then we have you do two nights in Niagara Falls, of course. Now, guys, I should mention that these are independent itineraries, so we are going to do all the hard work for you. We're going to set it all up, your train, your hotels, your sightseeing activities, and we make sure that you get the best of every uh, city. You know, we want to make sure that you see the highlights of every city. So, for example, in New York, we have the Hop On, Hop Off sightseeing tour, which is a great way for you to get all the way around the city and see everything you want to see, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, you know, that hop on, hop off tour will take you everywhere you want to go uh, there in New York. And then once you folks arrive in Niagara Falls, uh, we have another hop on, hop off sightseeing style tour there as well uh, to make sure that you get to see all of the different attractions 
uh, located up there at the falls. Niagara Falls, everybody, is a really amazing destination. Uh, it's pretty much on everybody's bucket list. It's one of the most spectacular sites in North America and indeed in the entire world. And um, there is so much there to really see and do. You know, we have the boat rides out to the base of the falls. You've got the tower, you know, where you can see uh, panoramic views. And um, there's a lot of other attractions as well there in Niagara Falls, which you can uh, have included in this package or add on to this package. There's a journey behind the falls. You actually have tunnels behind the falls. There's a whitewater walk, which goes down by the base of the falls. So there's a real lot to experience and see and do there in Niagara Falls. Uh, once you spend two nights there, we're going to have you travel to Toronto, which is another fantastic destination in eastern Canada. It's an extremely vibrant city. There's always something going on in Toronto, and we want to make sure you get the best, best view possible, so we're going to have you have admission to the CN Tower there, uh, where you just get some spectacular cityscapes uh, you know, as you go through your activities there in Toronto. And then from Toronto to Montreal is our next stop on the journey. And uh, you folks will actually take the Via Rail, the Canadian Rail, from Toronto to Montreal. So very nice, very comfortable train ride there, just a few hours. And uh, we have you spend two nights in Montreal. We have you arriving there. And then the next day, we've got a guided city tour for you. So this is really great because we've got you know a very knowledgeable guide who'll go around with you, show you all of the great sites in old Montreal. Uh, as well as new Montreal for you guys who haven't been, is a beautiful city, a really great old world sort of almost European atmosphere. Uh, Montreal is the largest city in the province of Quebec, and it's also a bilingual city. So you'll absolutely encounter many people who speak both French and English. So there's a definite French flair to Montreal, which is uh, really fantastic, excellent croissants. Uh, Great poutine, which is a local dish that's really excellent. I highly recommend it to everybody. And um, speaking of French culture, uh, the next stop on our trip here is Quebec, which is a beautiful city, tremendous architecture there in Quebec. And we have a lot of great options for you in Quebec. So uh, it's a very easy city to get around. Uh, old Quebec is sort of the historic city center there. And all of our properties are, or many of our properties are centrally located to that area. Um, Quebec is one of the oldest cities uh, in North America, and it's one of the only cities that has its original city wall from when they first built it. It's actually a site that you guys can go and see, so it's pretty spectacular there. Um, New York and Eastern Canada is one of my favorite trips that we offer, especially if you want to get that uh, sort of Eastern Canadian uh, view. It hits all the major highlights there, and we have the sightseeing really included for you at every stop. Um, as well in Niagara Falls, I should mention we have you go out to Niagara-on-the-Lake, which is a great little uh, town outside of Niagara Falls. So you get out and you know see a little bit more of the outside uh, view there. Now, if that package is interesting to you, but you want to do a little bit more comprehensive trip maybe, um, we've got a great uh, trip here called Capital to Capital, which is an excellent vacation here that we've put together for you. Uh, we call it Capital to Capital because it starts uh, in Toronto, then visits Ottawa, which is, of course, the Canadian capital, then goes to Montreal, uh, down to New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C., which is, of course, our U.S. capital here. Now, I do want to highlight on this one, this trip does have you travel on Amtrak's Adirondack train, which is one of its most famous trains there. That's between Montreal and New York City. Again, that's an all-day train. You're going to leave Montreal in the morning, and you'll arrive in New York City uh, early evening, but it's absolutely spectacular, spectacular sights that you'll see there. Again, uh, you folks are going to see the Adirondack Mountains, views of the Hudson River, the train sinks along it for quite a ways, uh, as well as Lake Champlain, which is beautiful. Um, now, this is a trip in particular is really nice uh, in the summer and also in the fall, everybody. So in the fall, Amtrak often puts their dome car on this train. So every long distance Amtrak train will have the observation car, uh, which you can view, you know, Chicago to Seattle, Los Angeles up to Seattle. Um, but this particular train in the fall will also get a dome car, even though it's just a day train, uh, because you can see that beautiful fall foliage. So highly recommend that there. And uh, if you guys are traveling on the weekend in peak season, something I should point out, Amtrak does have a trails and rails program 
because this particular train passes through Saratoga, uh, New York. So we actually have a park ranger who will get on the train uh, for a small portion of the trip on the weekends uh, in the spring and summer and fall and um, give you a little bit of historical detail about the Saratoga National Park, which, by the way, everyone, it is the centennial of the national parks this year. And we've got some great trips, as Jackie mentioned, going out to your national parks here in the US and, of course, in Canada as well. So this trip here, as I mentioned, does start out in Toronto, a great city, so much to see and do there. Uh, we have you spend a couple nights there, and while you're there, you do take a full day tour out to Niagara Falls. So on this trip, we don't have you stay there, but you definitely still get to see it. Um, we make sure that you have that amazing experience of going out and um, getting a picture of that beautiful site. Now from Toronto, we'll have you take the VRL, again that's the Canadian train, to Ottawa, which has got some absolutely stupendous architecture, a lot of things to see and do there in Ottawa. We have the hop on hop off sightseeing tour included with this package. Also, of course, you could get out on the water on a great boat cruise, uh, many other different activities and sites to see there. Uh, coming from Ottawa, we have you take the train then to Montreal. As I mentioned before, beautiful city there. Now, Montreal is somewhat famous for its cathedrals. They've got some absolutely spectacular uh, European-style cathedrals, which I definitely suggest you visit. They'll be highlighted on the Montreal City Tour that is included with this package. And then, as I mentioned, you'll take that Adirondack train, that day train down to New York City, which is just spectacular. And arriving in New York City, of course, we have the accommodations there for you. And as well, you get the City Pass on this particular package, which is a great value. It gets you admission to so many of New York's major attractions, the Statue of Liberty, um, a lot of those fantastic museums that New York has to offer, the Empire State Building Observatory. You know, there's so many things for you to choose from. Uh, on this city pass, and that's all included for you with this package. And as well, you have the hop on, hop off bus so that you can take the transportation to all those various attractions. Now from New York, we'll go down to Philadelphia. We'll take the Amtrak train, a very comfortable train on Amtrak between New York City and Philadelphia. Great uh, sandwiches in the cafe car for anybody who's wondering. I highly recommend the turkey and bacon wraps. Um, the Philadelphia uh, portion of your trip area is pretty fantastic. Uh, again, we've got that hop on hop off sightseeing tour, so you can go visit the Liberty Bell, Constitution Hall. You guys can run up the steps like Rocky at the Philadelphia Art Museum and just see some of the, the great historic sites uh, in our country here. And speaking of historic sites, no uh, historic tour would be complete without a visit to Washington, D.C. And we have a really special uh, tour included for you in Washington, D.C., and that's the Monuments by Moonlight Tour. Now, the Monuments by Moonlight Tour, everybody, all of our major monuments, the Washington Memorial, the Capitol Building, uh, the Jefferson Memorial, the White House, you know, all of our major historic U.S. monuments are lit up at night, and they really look amazing in the evening when they're all lit up. Um, just the backdrop is incredible. We've got a, got a picture of it on the slide here. And that Monuments by Moonlight tour will take you to all of those major sites and, you know, just really, um, really humbling, you know, really stunning uh, tour. I really enjoyed that. And then we also include admission to one of the great museums there in Washington, D.C., your choice, uh, depending on what interests you, whether it's international spies or uh, the history of our news or the crime museum there. Those are all, um, choice of those are included for you as well. Capital to Capital again, everybody. Uh, that's a longer trip. You know, if you've got a little bit more time for your vacation, it's a 13-day trip and hits Toronto, Niagara Falls, Ottawa, Montreal, New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. It's a great way to take in, you know, a lot of different cities with different vibes, different um, cultures, and, and really get a, a good idea of what it's like. Uh, you know, here in Canada and also the eastern United States. So that's a really beautiful tour. And we can certainly get you out there, you know, by train if you want to take the train to Toronto to start or take the train home from Washington at the end. Or as Jackie mentioned earlier, you know, this may be a trip if you don't have quite as much time where we can certainly have you fly in or out, you know, at the beginning or at the end. Now, if you're interested in, you know, a longer trip as well, we do have some fantastic trips which start in the east and actually travel all the way out west. 
So this next trip that we're going to look at here is called Classic Canada and Rockies Westbound. So this trip, just so everybody knows, actually I'm going to show you the westbound trip, but we do offer it eastbound and westbound. So you can start here in Toronto, as I'm going to describe, or if you guys are based on the west coast or you're going to be out there, you can actually start in Vancouver and travel towards Toronto and do the same trip just in reverse. Uh, that's true of a lot of our trips, by the way, everybody. You can start uh, pretty much at either end. You know, these trips uh, begin in one location and end in another, and we can customize it for you depending on what works best. So this trip here is called Classic Canada and Rockies Westbound. Uh, this one here starts with two nights in Toronto, including a day tour out to Niagara Falls, of course. Uh, then you spend three nights on board Canada's Via Rail train uh, on your way to Jasper in the Canadian Rockies and then to Vancouver. So again, we include that great hop on, hop off tour for you here in Toronto as well as the day trip out to Niagara Falls. And when you do that day trip out to Niagara Falls, everybody, I do want to just make sure to point out that you do get out on the water if it's uh, available. Of course, this trip does run all year round, just so everyone knows. So that boat cruise uh, may not be available in December, but definitely for anybody who's traveling now through the summer and fall, uh, we'll get you out on the water there so that you can see uh, some of that amazing scenery. And then if you guys were going to be traveling in the winter, we have a great substitute. We have a journey behind the falls, which is actually tremendous because the falls uh, can freeze over, and, or parts of them anyway. And um, that's really actually lovely as well. Following your stay in Toronto, we have you boarding Canada's Via Rail, which is uh, sort of their cousin to Amtrak, we'll say, uh, Canada's rail system, and that's a beautiful, absolutely stupendous ride across all of Canada uh, going into Jasper. And as Jackie mentioned in the beginning, you guys are really going to see some sites that you would never be able to see any other way. You know, there's no roads uh, that go by Pyramid Falls. There's no uh, way you would ever see it from an airplane. You know, um, there's some sites here on this Via Rail trip that you just will not be able to see anywhere but from this train. And Via Rail offers a lot of uh, great accommodation choices for you, very similar to Amtrak. They have different cabins that you can take and, you know, um, sleeping berths and things like that as well. Some great food, certainly. Uh, now, once you folks arrive in Jasper, um, Jasper is right in the heart of the Canadian Rockies, so you're going to get some amazing scenery there. And as well, we actually get you right out onto the ice fields. We've got an excursion uh, that actually is called an Ice Explorer vehicle. It's pretty neat. Um, we'll get you right out there on the ice fields, as well as admission to the Glacier Skywalk and Discovery Center uh, there for your two nights in Jasper. And then you guys aboard Via Rail again. Uh, one more overnight train through the Rockies. Uh, going to Vancouver. And just so uh, I make sure everybody knows, uh, Via Rail, as well as Amtrak, you know, these folks design these routes to make sure that you are seeing the very best scenery during the daytime. So if you've got Rocky Mountain views, they make sure that you are seeing them during the day. They design their schedules around that view. So just want to make sure everybody knows that. And then the views do not stop once you get to Vancouver. Uh, there in Vancouver, we've got admission to the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, which as you can see on my slide here, is amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing to be able to take a walk across uh, this bridge here. It's just tremendous. Uh, so this trip, everybody, it's 11 days total, starting out on the East Coast, traveling across Canada all the way to the West Coast. Toronto, Niagara Falls, Jasper, and Vancouver all included here. Um, but if those Canadian Rockies are what you are looking for, if that's all you came to the webinar today, we've got a trip that actually goes even deeper into the Canadian Rockies, and that is our Canadian Rockies Discovery Eastbound uh, with Seattle. So this one actually has you folks start out there in Seattle, um, and then you take the Amtrak train up to Vancouver. So just a Note on that Amtrak train, uh, those of you guys who are located in the West Coast will probably want to uh, point out that this train, I mentioned how beautiful the East Coast trains are, this train is actually voted by uh, National Geographic as one of the top 10 scenic train rides in North America. It actually starts down in Eugene, Oregon, goes through Portland, uh, up to Seattle, and then up to Vancouver, British Columbia. So certainly anybody of you guys located out on the West Coast, you can hop on that train in Portland and head up to Seattle to start this package. Or if you're located in California, you can take our beautiful Coast Starlight up and then connect with the Cascades to Seattle as well. 
the Cascades train, you see a lot of beautiful scenery as well. A little bit different than the East Coast. This is going to include more mountain peaks, um, you know, more lush landscapes, and even some wildlife as well. Um, but it begins there. Our tour begins here in Seattle, uh, which is a fantastic city. Uh, you have included here for you admission to the Space Needle, because you cannot possibly visit Seattle without visiting the Space Needle. Uh, they have 360 degree views of the entire city. You can see the mountains, Puget Sound, uh, really just tremendous views there. And of course, we have admission for you to the Glass Garden exhibit there as well. Uh, stop and get some uh, Starbucks and Pike's Place, and then take Amtrak's Cascades train up to Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver is a Beautiful city, fantastic, so much to see and do. While you're there, we include that hop on, hop off tour for you to get all the way around the city, see all of those great sites, as well as admission to the lookout. So you can again see some really spectacular views there in Vancouver. And then you will board, uh, take, by the way, while you're in Vancouver, we have you take a day trip out to Victoria. Victoria, for those of you who don't know, is an island in British Columbia. It has absolutely stunning architecture, some really beautiful architecture there, as well as amazing gardens. And uh, we have you take the afternoon tea at the Fairmont Empress, which is an institution in itself, absolutely. Uh, from Vancouver, you folks will then travel on to Jasper. And as I mentioned before, Jasper is right in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. Uh, from Jasper, you do that Ice Fields Parkway excursion, uh, and you've got a sightseeing tour there in Jasper as well. So we'll get you right out into the scenery to take some amazing photographs and to see some uh, sites that you've never seen before. Um, from Jasper, we take you down to Banff. Uh, Banff is, again, you know, right in those Rockies. And uh, while you're there, we have you take a tour out to Lake Louise, which is, of course, quite famous there. Uh, in the Canadian Rockies. So we've got a mountain lakes and waterfalls tour. So you can all just imagine the amazing photos and memories that you would have on that. From Banff, uh, we have you folks travel then to Calgary to end this particular tour. So a uh, great city there in Alberta. And from Calgary, we can connect you back over to Via Rail or to travel back to the West Coast, or you know, maybe you want to do that cross Canada at this point. Uh, or of course you can fly from Calgary you know, to really any point uh, where you might want to go. Again, that Canadian Rockies Discovery Eastbound with Seattle, that trip is an 11-day trip. Uh, you get to do Seattle, Vancouver, Victoria, Jasper, Lake Louise, Banff, and Calgary. Uh, so really a lot of that amazing sites and sounds and wildlife and nature there in the Canadian Rockies, um, breathtaking views, you know, all the way around. And uh, that trip, again, we can connect you up. You can take the train uh, across the United States, maybe, to get out to Seattle, or maybe up the coast to get to Seattle, and then uh, do this tour here. So whatever you guys are looking for, we can certainly do for you. Uh, now, if you didn't have quite as much time and you just wanted uh, to get a little bit of that experience, we do have a tremendous trip here uh, for those of you who may be uh, on the West Coast called Seattle, Vancouver, and Victoria. So we kind of hit those highlights of that western part of the itinerary there with two nights in Seattle. While you guys are there, you'll have a hop-on, hop-off trolley tour and, again, admission to the Space Needle and Glass Garden. You can head down to Pike's Place Market, see them throw the fish, and uh, maybe get out on the water there in Seattle for those two nights. And then you'll take the Cascades train, as we talked about, up to Vancouver. Now on this tour, you do get admission to the suspension bridge uh, that we saw in the previous slide, as well as a hop-on, hop-off city tour of Vancouver before we hop on a ferry over to Victoria, British Columbia. In Victoria, we have the afternoon tea at the Fairmont Empress as well as a hop-on, hop-off trolley tour. And really one of the highlights is the Bouchard Gardens of Victoria. As I mentioned before, they're uh, famous gardens. They're unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And we include that tour for you as part of this uh, package with Amtrak. And then from Victoria, you can take that ferry on back to Seattle. 
or you can take it back to Vancouver and we can connect you maybe across Canada or down the west coast of the United States, whatever you guys are looking for there. Um, traveling on board Amtrak, everybody. Traveling on board Amtrak is an amazing experience. I've been lucky enough to do it several times now, uh, both on the East Coast, the West Coast, a little bit in the middle of the country. Uh, you know, I've been very lucky and able to do that, and I can tell you it's really one of my absolute favorite ways to travel. Um, traveling by Amtrak is really all about the experience, whether you're taking a day train up to Montreal or you're going to take that overnight train from Chicago to get to Niagara Falls. Amtrak has a tremendous amount to offer. Um, looking at the accommodations there on Amtrak, uh, the coach accommodations, of course, are very comfortable. Just so everybody knows, you have a lot of leg room. Uh, I actually could not kick the seat of the person in front of me <laughs> because I had that much leg room. Uh, they do have nice little foot rests for you as well as outlets at pretty much every seat there in coach. It's really nice because it's two seats and then the aisle and then two more seats. So you're never that middle person who's stuck like you might be on an airline. Um, with the coach seating on board Amtrak, you guys have access to the cafe car if it's one of the shorter trains. And you have access to the dining car too if it's one of the longer trains. Now if you folks are taking one of those longer trains going uh, you know, from Chicago to Niagara Falls, or maybe you're going to start your trip in somewhere like Los Angeles to head up to Seattle to do the Western Canadian uh, experiences. Uh, we have several different uh, room categories that may work for you on board Amtrak. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is the roomette. That's a little bit smaller cabin there on Amtrak. Very cozy, perfect for two people. Uh, you can see you've got a great big picture window there with the roomette. Two chairs that face each other. And then in the evening, they fold on down into bunk beds. Um, but if you want a little bit more space, we do have the bedroom available as well on Amtrak. Uh, the bedroom is a little bit larger than the roomette for sure. Uh, you can see where the gentleman is sitting here. He's actually almost on a little love seat. You can sit two people side by side. And then there's another chair there. With the bedroom, uh, great accommodations because they do have their own little private uh, facilities there, you know, toilet and shower in your private room, uh, as well as a sink, of course. And then in the evening, this does fold down into bunk beds as well, a little bit larger style bunk beds. Now, just so everybody knows, we do have other accommodation types as well. You can see here, we've got handicapped accessible sleepers. So if anybody is mobility impaired, we've got a special room on board Amtrak, which can accommodate you, as well as a family sleeper. That's what you'll see there on the bottom right hand side, that'll sleep two adults and two children. So perfect for any you know families who are going to be traveling. Uh, and then the other picture there is the bedroom suite. And what that is, uh, folks, is that bedroom that we saw on the previous slide. You can actually take the wall out between two bedrooms and combine it to make a great spacious accommodation there on Amtrak. Now I would be remiss if I did not mention that whether you are in coach or whether you are in one of the sleepers, Everybody has access to the observation car on those long distance trains. Uh, so the observation car has floor to ceiling windows. You can see here, uh, big comfy seats with seats which face out towards those windows so you can see that spectacular scenery as you go by. And again, everybody has access to that observation car, whether you are in coach or whether you are in the sleeper. But a special perk of having the roomettes or bedrooms, the sleepers on board the train, is that your meals for the uh, mealtimes are included on those long distance trains. So again, these are your uh, longer distance trains. Your breakfast, lunch, dinner is served right there in the dining car. And um, you have uh, your choice of options off of the menu. And they're real uh, meals prepared fresh uh, right there on board the train. Uh, really great food. I can highly recommend the steak. You can see the picture in the bottom left there. Uh, I did that on the Southwest Chief quite recently and was very impressed by how good my steak was. Now if you guys are looking for our trips here, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have so many trips uh, up into Canada and across the United States as well. So we have uh, vacations to fit everybody's uh, vacation time. <laughs> However long you have to travel, we can make that work for you. And you can find that uh, by visiting our website here, AmtrakVacations.com, uh, calling us or calling your local travel agents. 
And I'm going to invite Jackie to jump back in here. Well, thank you so much for that, Colleen, and for all that great information. Kind of an overview of some of the packages that we have that can take you up to Canada on a nice scenic rail vacation. So how do you book one of these packages or any of our rail vacations? As Colleen mentioned, you can certainly check out more of our packages on AmtrakVacations.com. You can give us a call and talk to one of our vacation specialists especially if you're looking to maybe customize something or you're looking to add rail from your hometown, your local Amtrak station, definitely give us a call. We can help you plan that all out and put it together. And you can also do it through your local travel agent. If you want to sit down with them, maybe talk about the different possibilities on other destinations that we have. So what I also do want to mention, uh, we have a travel protection option. And again, it is optional, but I do want to point it out, it's one of the best in the industry. It's canceled for any reason up until 12 noon, the business day prior to your departure. You get a full refund minus the cost of the trip protection. It also protects you while you're on uh, your vacation there. So a great way to kind of protect your investment there for it. I just want to point it out, I do highly recommend it. We have some great discounts, though, on the Amtrak rail portion of your trip. We have a Veterans Advantage discount. There's a military discount for active military and their families. A AAA one, so your local AAA travel agent can also assist you with that discount there. A senior discount, 15% off for anyone age 62 or older. And children on Amtrak, they receive 50% off the adult rail fare. Children on Amtrak are ages 2 to 12. But what I'm really excited to tell you all about today is the exclusive offer that we have, just to say thank you for taking the time and listening to us today. Now, if you book a Cross Canada or Canadian Rockies package, like Colleen talked about today and pointed out, within the next two weeks, you have to book before May 11th, but we'll give you $350 off per couple. So that's an exclusive discount just for all of you. You're not going to see that online anywhere else. Uh, so make sure to write down that promo code webinar via that's webinar V I A and you will save three hundred and fifty dollars per couple. So I know it's a lot of information that we gave you today on different packages, those promos, everything. So there is a great handout that you can click right on the right hand side of your screen and download that. It's a little cheat sheet and has some information. I do see some questions coming through uh, during the presentation, but definitely if you have any questions at all now, please feel free to type that right into your questions box, and we'll do a little Q&A with myself and Colleen. So we just want to say thanks again, everyone, you know, for taking the time joining us. If you are interested in any of these packages, again, please don't hesitate uh, to give us a call or if you have any additional questions that come up later. But before I go ahead and answer these questions, I do want to announce our lucky $100 Amtrak Vacations gift certificate winner. And that winner is Randy Cutberg. So congratulations, Randy. You now have $100 to put towards your next vacation. All right, let's get to some of these questions here. So we have one from Julia. Do you have several trains from New York City to Niagara Falls? I live, I live in D.C. and I'm interested in the two-night stay package. So yes, Julia, uh, certainly if you live in Washington, D.C., you can certainly do a Niagara Falls a getaway package, two-night stay there. I know Colleen talked about our package leaving from Chicago, but again, our packages can leave from any of the 500 Amtrak stations. So we can certainly do the train from DC leaving early in the morning, taking you to New York City. You'll change trains there, and then take that beautiful train ride going over to Niagara Falls. We have a question from Jackie. Do you need a passport on the train? Yes, Jackie, you will need a passport if you are crossing the border uh, on Amtrak. We will need that information at the time of booking. So we have a question from Julia. Can Amtrak Rewards Points be used for the vacation packages? That's a great question. Right now, Amtrak Rewards Points cannot be redeemed for an Amtrak vacation package with hotels, sightseeing tours, and all that. But certainly, if you book any of our packages, 
you can earn Amtrak guest rewards points on the rail portion of your trip. Uh, so we have a question. I'm located in Oklahoma. Our train only goes to Dallas. It makes me sad. Well, Randy, certainly with that, from Dallas, you can connect to either the Texas Eagle and take the train going up to Chicago or maybe take it going down south to San Antonio. So you still have lots of possibilities there. Again, another thing to keep in mind, too, is you know, we find just over half of our clients will actually fly to the start of their package, train from city to city, and fly home. So that's always an option, too. Maybe if you're looking at you know, the Canadian Rockies Discovery, flying into Seattle, maybe out of Calgary there. So always a possibility, you know, depending on where you live. We will certainly work with you on that. Oh, we have a question from Sahara. Is it bus transportation to and from Victoria? Uh, it's not a bus actually included to get you out to Victoria is the ferry. Uh, is food included for any rooms on Via Rail? Yes, certainly if you're doing the berth, sleeping accommodations there, anything like that, the meals are included with Via Rail. Again, with those sleeping accommodations, meals are included both for Via Rail as well as for Amtrak too. So it's a great perk and bonus that you're getting too. Not only do you have your own private you know, room or cabin there, depending on which accommodation you, know, you go with, but you also have all your meals in the dining car. So we have a question from uh, Florence. A cross Canada trip, is that tour package only or include Via Rail reservations from Vancouver to Toronto without the tour packages? Um, so just uh, kind of reading over your question again here. So certainly um, for that one there, it does include your train. Uh, for the pricing on all of those packages there, I think that might be what you're referring to for kind of wondering what's included in the, the packages and the pricing. Uh, for all of our packages, it's all based on you know, coach or economy class accommodations, whether it's you know, Amtrak or on Via Rail there. Also included is the hotels, sightseeing tours, and all the destinations. If you are looking to upgrade to one of the sleepers, uh, definitely give us a call, reach out to your local travel agent, and we'll be able to get you the pricing for that with those accommodations. A question from Randy. Uh, so since I'm in Oklahoma, is it possible to get a quote online for a trip starting there, or do I need to call? So definitely for that, if you're looking to start from Oklahoma, you won't see any of our packages online, including round trip rail out of there. So for that, you'll definitely want to give us a call. You actually can uh, request a quote online too, and one of our vacation specialists can get back to you with the pricing there for it. So certainly we can definitely take care of that for you. Oh, we have a question from Scott. Can we get catalogs mailed to us? Yes, we do have some great brochures showing some more of our packages that we have. You can order those brochures on, at AmtrakVacations.com. Let's see, we have a question from Claire. If we book a Canadian package within the next two weeks, how far out can we book the travel? So you'll notice our packages here that we have, we actually have the rates uh, for all of our packages really until the end of March. 2017. So definitely if you're looking to travel, you know, anytime from now till then, we can certainly book that for you right away. Uh, let's see here. It looks like we have a couple more questions uh, coming in. One from Roshini. Do we have a bedroom or remet accommodation for two adults and two kids? So that's a great question. If you are traveling with children, so it's actually a, another type of accommodation. We didn't get too much into uh, today. The options are either doing, you could certainly do a bedroom and open up that dividing wall there, like Colleen mentioned, but there's also a family bedroom on the train. What that is, it actually has the four beds. So it's two adult-sized bunk beds and two child-sized beds. Again, children on Amtrak are ages 2 to 12. One thing to keep in mind, too, with those child-sized beds, they're about four, four and a half feet long, so it is a lot smaller. So it's kind of based more on how big your children are. So if you have a really tall 11, 12-year-old, uh, you may want to do either the two bedrooms, open up that wall. Another option, too, is doing two roomettes, and we can request them to be next to each other or across the hall. 
uh, to keep the family together there. So we have a question from Clifford. Uh, what's the added cost for single travelers? So that's a great question. If you are a single traveler, definitely give us a call. Uh, this way we can go ahead and put together an accurate quote for you. You still can take advantage uh, of that discount that we're offering if you're looking to do cross Canada, Canadian Rockies. Again, that would be $175 that you get off. So it's not a flat rate that's added on. Of course, as a single traveler, you do absorb a little bit more of a cost uh, in the hotel rooms there if you're not splitting it with someone, but definitely give us a call for that. A uh, question from Mary, is the 11-day Canadian Rockies eastbound trip, does that include the sleepers and food for $17.99? So again, all of the pricing here, that's based on coach accommodations. Uh, so it does not include the sleeper from Vancouver going over to Jasper or those meals there. So there's a few different types of sleepers, as Colleen mentioned earlier, whether it's the berth, the cabin for one, cabin for two. There's also the luxury uh, prestige class for anyone that's looking to go uh, all the way across Canada there. So there's a few different options. So if you're interested in that and the sleepers, definitely let us or your travel agent know. Uh, so for, question from Bob. We have, or actually it's more of a, a statement there, Bob. We booked a family bedroom uh, for a trip from Chicago to Washington, D.C. It was great for the kids. So thanks so much for sharing that, Bob. Uh, that certainly is perfect to keep the family together, really spend some quality time. So I'm glad you shared that with us, and I'm glad to hear that uh, you had a, a wonderful vacation there with your family. And a question from Denise. Can three people stay in a hotel? Uh, certainly, we can do three people. Definitely just let us know, you know at the time of booking if it's three or you know, even four people, and we can go ahead uh, of course, that would bring you know the prices down a little bit there, based on you know four people sharing the hotel room. So certainly we can do that and take care of that for you. So it looks like that's all we have for questions today. Again, I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time out of your day and joining us. If you do think of any other questions later, or you're ready to make your reservation for your next rail vacation, please give us a call or reach out to your local travel agent. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.